This is problem number six from section 5.5. Uh, it says evaluate the integral of eight over nine plus r squared dr. It's a little bit of a tricky problem. So um, we haven't talked a lot about the, the derivatives of uh, trig inverses, but we're actually gonna end up using that here. So if you look at your common derivatives uh, worksheet on Schoology, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see what the derivatives of the inverse functions are. So let's start out first by, we want to rewrite this in uh, a different form, and we're really shooting for this form. We want 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's the form we want. If you look at this uh, tangent inverse derivative, so the derivative of tangent inverse is just 1 over 1 plus u squared. So we're really looking for uh, getting this here so that we, when we do the integral, we actually get tangent inverse. That's, our, that's kind of our goal here. So how can we do that? Well, let's rewrite this as, uh, we want to rewrite this as the integral of 8 over, and I'm actually going to factor out a 9 on the bottom. So 9, and that would leave me with 1 plus one ninth r squared. All right, if I distribute the nine through, I end up with the same thing. So I'm still just, I'm just manipulating this expression for right now. And then I'm gonna manipulate it even farther because I really want to do a u substitution here, but I can't do a u substitution here because the square is just on the r, it's not on the one ninth. So I'm going to write that in a way so that this 1 9th is part of the square. Well, what would I have to, let's see, what would I have to multiply by itself to give me 1 9th? Well, that'd be 1 3rd. So I'm gonna have plus parentheses 1 3rd r squared. Now you can see if I do 1 3rd r squared, that's 1 9th r squared, which is what we have right there. So you can see I'm just manipulating this expression to get it to look closer to this. That's what we're, that's what we're looking for. I can actually then even re write this. I can bring the 8 ninths out front. So I have 8 ninths. Let's get that out of there. And I have, uh, hope this would be integral. And then I would have just 1 over 1 plus 1 third r squared. And you can see how this is shaping up. So it's shaping up very nicely. I'm 1 over 1 plus something squared. I can now use u substitution. So u equals 1 third r. And when I do this u equals 1 third r, the derivative du over dr equals, well, that's just going to be 1 third. So I multiply the dr over. That's du equals one third dr, and I multiply the three over the other side, so three du equals dr, and I can substitute that stuff in there. So, oh, I forgot to write dr there. So it's eight ninths, eight ninths integral, one over one plus u squared, because I substitute the u for the one third r, and then I substitute for dr, 3 du, so uh, 3 du so times 3 du. I can then technically just bring the 3, the 3 would come up here, but I can just bring the 3 outside. So I end up with equals 24 over 9 integral 1 over 1 plus u squared du. Uh, I'm finally to this spot right here. And if I look here, I know that the if the derivative of tangent inverse is 1 over 1 plus u squared, the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus u squared is tangent inverse u plus c. So I'm going to go ahead and use that here, and I'm going to say that this equals then 24 over 9 tangent inverse u plus c. 
My last step is to reduce and plug in U. Well, I know my U is one third R. So I'm gonna plug in 24 over nine. If I divide that by three, that will give me eight thirds tangent inverse of one third R plus C because constant times constant is constant. And that's the integration.